Hello you two, good morning. How the devil are you? I'm back with a pickups video. I was going to do a master system update one, but uh, yeah, I think I'll wait until a year. Yeah, it's like when I, it's when I did my last master system update. Wanted to show uh, what I got. Also got some master system games here. Um, and some other bits and pieces to show you. Obviously, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a different setup going on. Bought some um, metal shelves, which go right the way up and round. But yeah, start getting some of my games out now. Up there, still just a pile of crap at the moment. Well, I say crap, got some claws. I got like my boxes of PS1 games, box PS2 games, and some like other little oh my god like sonic figure back to the future stuff and that so just up there at the moment i just think this is the best corner i could get at the moment as you can see i've started and some master system games out mega drive mini but there I've got mega drive game down the bottom but i got some funko pops here a minute for now because i need to get a little little blind or something now on the window up here so that'll obviously stop any sun fade and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get on with it. Eh? First pickup I, uh, I got was just after I done the top. Oh, find me. Yeah, got my heater on me. After I done the um my favourite characters, TV characters, which is the VR, the Lee the Nerdy Geezer. I thought, right, forget that. I've got to get this bag. I had a couple of them. Before I want to get the full set, and with Victor Meldrew, I don't believe it. I sound exactly like him, Ed, didn't I? If you shut your eyes, you would have thought I was Victor Meldrew, Ed. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, the one foot in the grave set. Like I said, a series one to six. And it's got all the Christmas specials now. So, yeah, I'm well, happy to have that. I think that was, I think it was seven pounds. Seven pound, I think it's like about four pound post and packaging, or the four or five pound post and packaging, so like 11 or 12 pound in total. And like I said, I'll watch them over and over and over, the same as with my um, Only Fools and Horses one. I'll watch them, so yeah, so that's that. That's the first pickup. Next, now these two are see the kids' games. Also, I'd like to get to play them at some point as well myself. So the first one up, we're going from newest to oldest, that makes sense. First one up, picked up this in the week, just gone here. Now it's Hitman 3, like I said, I've never really played Hitman game much. That was uh, Tyler's, like I said, I don't know. Not much screenshots on the back. But yeah, that's, that's his. This one I'm well happy to have. It's Tyler got this for Christmas on the PS5. We got it for my daughter as well because she had his PS4. So we had again, she loves Spider Man. Like I said, she, she, com she completed the first one. But anyway, we got uh, picked up Miles Morales on the PS4 as well. So, the good thing is now I can play this downstairs as well because I don't really want to be sat in his bedroom, teenage boy's bedroom, playing on PS5 because he fucking stinks. I'm sure I didn't smell that bad when I was a kid, honest. <laughs> When I was that age, I probably did, I spec, but I won't believe it. So, yeah, that's Miles Morales on PS4. Next up, now this one, I bought this a while ago. I just forgot to show it. And anyway, that's Mortal Kombat XL. Like I said, I got it mainly for... I used to have Mortal Kombat X, but I got rid of it. Got it for, like, the down, uh, the extra characters. So, obviously, there's Goro, Jason... Well, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's a good few. Predator, Leatherface, Cryborg. So, yeah, like I said, we're looking forward to give that one a go. And just as so I was about to do this, I had a thing through the door. And how much? I think that was £6, I think. Six or £7 that was. Uh, this come through the door, and it was good because I was watching Eddie's stream on Saturday morning. And that's Street Fighter, the 30th anniversary collection. So yeah, like I said, well happy to have that. And that was a grand total of £9.96, I think it was. Yeah, £9.96. So well happy to have that. 
I said inside is uh oh, hold on, a bit of plastic there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. I'll take that out. Take the disc out. That in it is like a little poster. And that looks again, that looks quality at us. So yeah, I told Eddie I will do a will do a stream of it. So I'm not sure what that's doing with the fucking paper. We'll do a stream of it soon. Might do one this afternoon actually. Yeah. So I'll record this now. This will probably be up states Tuesday, the second of February at the moment. So yeah, so I might have a little stream of that after. So maybe that's that. Now we're on to some tat. <laughs> As this uh this generation seems to have been christened now. But yeah, some of these our YouTube brethren. And anyway, that's PS3 and Xbox 360. So I got one Xbox 360 game. I got others in the drawer over there. But I can't remember which ones I've picked up. Now this I can remember picking up. And this was, I think it was £4 from CEX. That's Need for Speed Arrivals. I said, love my Need for Speed games. So I'm not sure why I haven't played this one yet. I have been playing the run. A little bit the run. And because I managed to get my old Xbox account back, obviously the one on you is here. So I finally brought um Tyler's old Xbox one up. So obviously you don't need now. So you got the Series X. So I've got that up here as well now. Obviously that's Game Pass Play Streets of Rage Four. But yeah, so I had to create a new account when I got my Xbox one. That's Retro Evs. That is, I'm thinking friends with a couple of YouTube YouTubers on it. Yeah, I managed to get my old account back as well. And that's got like games, I think it's like just over 18,000, I think. So, because I've been talking to people about games. So, yeah, I've played that. You might look at my figure and think, lying bastard, he haven't played that. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, I've been playing Need for Speed the Run. I've been playing that on my old, on the old 360 account. So, my, my 360 there, I might just leave that there for, blah, 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 like as a fucking you know, DVD player and stuff like that. So, yeah, anyway, we get back on this. That's the rivals, and that was four, four or five pounds. I think I was thinking it was four from CX. That one, right there. We got the uh, oh, chili will like this. <laughs> got three PS3 games, and they're all racing games. First one up, been playing a bit of this, and it's not a bad little racer actually. And that's Mod Race, Mod Nation Racers. Now, I picked that up a good couple of weeks ago. From CX and I can't remember how much it was. Two, three pound perhaps. Wouldn't have been expensive, but yeah, it's a good, fun race. That is, if we haven't, uh, if we haven't tried it, do the old, uh, the old bird soul flip. <laughs> so yeah, that's board race nation racers. Next one up. I'm sure, I played this. I'm sure, I played this a while ago on the three sixty. Like even years ago, or my no, I'm thinking I nailed actually. But anyway, I've picked up um fuel. I got this from a charity shop, and this was a pound, I think. Yeah, pound from a charity shop, and it was open. So, like I said, I haven't played it yet, but I can love some races. Like I said, and for a pound, I can't go wrong with that. So, that's uh, now one I never even heard of until I went in a charity shop. And like I said, this was going back a good couple of weeks ago. This was. And it was a pound again. Said I, yeah, it's not worth a lot. I don't think. There's some supercar challenge, and obviously, you see some. I would say a new fucking one in. It would have come out at the start of the PS3 life. I think just so getting on a bit. Yeah, a little stick of residue on it. Yeah, like I said, the uh, can't be too bad for a pound. Like I said, again, them two games here, Fuel and Supercar Challenge. For two pounds, I said I can't even get a pint for that these days now, can I? Right, so that's the tat. Now we're getting on to Sega. Sega! <laughs> right, this one, I used to have this and give it to my mate. I'll say give it to him. I had an old, say you no, know, I had a Mega Drive. It's going back, it was four years ago. Because the memory come up on Facebook, funny enough. And I give him a Mega Drive and FIFA. And he said, oh, I've got any other games I can borrow. I lend him this one. 
Now it was complete. Surely it was complete. I got it from Next Level Games. I still got the sticker on it on the the memory on Facebook, and I think it was six pound. So I went on eBay and I was looking, and someone was like twenty five quid, and now it's like buying now was an ass. So I think you know that's it's gone up a little bit. Like so, I went on CEX, and this was ten pound, I think. The ten. It was either ten pound and obviously the two pound for some packaging, or it was twelve pound. But I think it was ten. And anyway, that's uh, <coughs> talky. Except we played this on the uh, two with I score challenge not so long ago. There's no manual, but what I might do, I might say to my mate, "You can keep the the other one, but if it's a manual, can I have it? Because like I said the game then too bad. Like I said it's in." Good condition for something that old end, you know what I mean? Since well, condition you'd expect. So that's talky. So yeah, I just love love playing that. Don't get me wrong. The arcade version is miles better than the Mega Drive version because it's a little bit different. And like I said, with this, I remember how old was I? Must have been about thirteen or fourteen. I had the Mega Drive. I remember talking to one of the boys, his mate. But obviously, mate, but not someone who bother with regular. And anyway, we were just talking to each other. And I saw that I wish it was a game out on a Mega Drive called Talkie. I said, I've been playing it in the fish shop. And I said, I love it. I said, oh, I got that. And I said, shut up. And he said, yeah, he said, uh, I got it. I said, oh, do you want to sell it to me? And I think we agreed a price like 15 quid. So anyway, he brought it in the next day. And I was shocked to actually see it. I thought, oh my God, look at that. I was looking and I seen that um. I know she was his name, it's down the bottom of there. And I thought, oh yeah, brilliant. So when I went home, I was playing it, I think you know, I was not the same as, even though I liked it, because it wasn't the arcade game, I was thinking, oh, right, do I really want it? And anyway, I, you know, I give it to him back again. I said, oh, I don't want it now. And it was like a couple of weeks later, I said, oh yeah, I do want it. So I had it back off him. Then he had it back off me. It was like one of them things. So yeah, anyway, I finally, the third or fourth time then I got it back and anyway I'm just keeping it now so that's talky right then I was going through my master system collection and there's a couple in there like I said that I want to upgrade like some if I get a manual it's cheap enough and I want good covers and stuff like that in case as well I thought right we'll uh I'm gonna Fucking hell, I can't even talk. I'm going to go through and upgrade. Try and get them the best that I can get them. Manuals are a bonus. Like I said, some games I definitely want a manual for. So I've got to get a manual for the original Wonder Boy. So definitely got to get a manual for that. And anyway, the one I didn't have a manual for. And that was Action Fighter. And like I said, I bought this. Come as a pay with... Operation Wolf. Now I did have Operation Wolf off Dinsta. I bought it off him. Um, when was it? In back last year. But anyway, I went on SC Nax, right? And it was eight pound for these two on eBay. So I thought, oh well I'll get that and I'll use a case for Operation Wolf. I'll put make the best copy I can out of it then. And it's got these are both complete. Like I said, really nice condition. Like I said, I mixed a match to make a really good copy of that because the one things I sent me was a decent copy. And like I said, yeah, they both oh, I need to get a, a thing up here, I think. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know, there's a little cart log I put in here, but as you can see, the manuals behind it. Cart, brilliant. Now there's a manual, another little thing behind there. And the cart's good. I'd like to get cart logs in all of them as well if I can. So yeah, that was eight pound. Not sure. I think it might be about four pound postage. Something like that. No, it was three pound odd postage. I think it's come to eleven pound odd altogether, but eight pound for for the headwear. Like I said, really, really nice condition. So I'm happy with that. That's why I said we might see some spaces up there. It's gotta put these back in now. Right. And when I ordered Toki off CEX, I had another little lock on it see what was on it and I just put a master system boxed and just went lowest price I come up and it was CNS this was a fiver 
And I thought, oh, I've been looking for that. And I thought, right, I'm going to take a gamble. As long as the case and the inlay is in good condition, manuals are a bonus. So I went on there. And this is what I definitely want to get back in the collection, Alien 3. Like I said, I uh, had this back in the day. Yeah, it was for crisps, I think. Never liked it that much, but it's one of the... Got better as I've got older, if that makes sense. Now, there's no manual in there. But like I said... Right, but I'm well happy to have to have that. Like I said, that's that. Like I said, really nice case on him. Um, next one up, this was two pound. This was and this is in in Marklet. And like I said, this a lot of people would say this has got the worst box art ever. Personally, I think Action Fighter got one of the worst box art ever. And like I said, it was only recently, in the last year or two. I realised that was a wing mirror. I always used to think it was a magnifying glass, but it's a wing mirror. Learn something new every day, kids. <laughs> so yeah, this one was two pound, and it's pro wrestling. Look at that. Whoever thought that was a good idea, just have like an headless wrestler with an head under his arm. So that's that, and I was quite shocked. I come up with a little bit of sticker stuff on there. If I can get that off, it's uh, complete as well. So, two pound, like I said, I think it was for them free come to something like 22 pound. Yeah, 22 pound. We had a six pound voucher there, so I used that. So, basically, that covered all the postage. Yeah, so it was 16 pound odd for, for them free then, if you know what I mean. So, without the postage, which I had for my six pound voucher anyway. So, yes, guys, that's uh, what I've picked up. Now have a little bash on Streets of Rage now, or uh, our type over there. Sort some st some stuff about yeah. Go through some mass system stuff, make a list of what I want to upgrade. And I'll uh, love you and leave you guys and catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching. All the best.